Hi guys. One of the coolest features in Z-Ray is the ability to plug in your own extension, meaning you can customize Z-Ray panels and add your own personalized panel. What you're about to watch is a short tutorial on how to write a basic extension for Z-Ray. In this case, we'll be writing a Z-Ray extension for WordPress that will extract and display a list of loaded WordPress plugins. By the way, it's based on the official Z-Ray WordPress extension that's bundled with Zen Server. Before we start, all the documentation you need to learn how to build an extension for Z-Ray is detailed beautifully on GitHub. So let's get started. Our first step is to go to the Z-Ray extensions folder in your Zen Server installation files and create a new folder with the name of your extension. In this folder, we're going to create a new PHP file called Z-Ray. This file is the Z-Ray extension include file, and it's a good practice to have it in the root of the extension directory. Great, now let's start to actually develop the extension. The first thing we need to do is to enter a class for declaring the new extension. This class is the main API for defining all the extensions, trace actions, and metadata. So the next thing we're going to do is enable the extension. Now there are a number of ways to do this, but the safest is to use the following expression. We're basically telling Z-Ray to load the extension after the WordPress initial constants method is called. This is the first WordPress function that's called on a page, so it's a good trigger. The next part is to declare a trace on a particular function. This part is the beating heart of your extension. It defines the function you want to hook into during runtime, when you want to hook into it, upon entry or exit, and what's to be executed. Or in other words, what information Zero should store and display and how. This declaration will include the name of the function to be traced and two callables which are fired when entering and exiting the function. In our case, we're going to use the WordPress cache close function, since we know this is a good time to retrieve the plugins. I'm going to leave the entry callable empty. But we're going to develop the exit callable a bit. First, we're going to add two parameters that the trace function callable method accepts. Context is an array of information about the function. And storage is a reference to the storage array and is used to store the info that will actually be displayed in Z-Ray. So what do we want executed upon leaving the WordPress cache close function? We're going to start by entering the WordPress method for extracting plugin data. Now, since we don't really know what this data actually looks like, let's first dump the plugins object in a new panel and check out what it looks like in Z-Ray. And the way to do this is very simple. Okay, let's see what it looks like in Z-Ray. We can see that a new panel is automatically added with a tree table displaying a multi-level array. Just a general note here, the extension's storage mechanism automatically generates tables based on the information stored. If an array or associative array is passed, a grid table will be created with columns as the names of the keys. If a multi-level array or an object is passed, a tree table will be created. Now, we don't want all this data displayed in Z-Ray. We'd like to extract only part of this information, say only the name and version for each plugin. So what we're going to do now is enter a for each loop with another storage execution
Only this time, we're going to specify an array instead of the plugins object. And this array will include the plugins name, and the plugins version. Back in the browser, we could see a new plugins panel with a grid view of the plugins and with the information we wanted to be displayed. Okay, we're almost done. The last thing we're going to do is to add a logo to our extension. To do this, you'll need to add the image to the folder containing the extension file. Please note that the image should be 24 and 24 pixels and should contain both a regular and hover state. In the extension file, we're going to use the set metadata function. In this case, we're going to use the unique key logo to set the default logo for the extension. This is done by passing a full path to the logo file. Let's take a look. Cool, how easy was that? So whatever app you're working on, whatever framework or platform, you can make Zray trace and display any information you want. Enjoy.